Hi friends, in this C++ video tutorial, I am going to talk about private destructor. Now many of times you have seen private constructor. In singleton pattern you use private constructor so that outside entity of class should not be able to access your constructor. Now there is also importance of private destructor. Now let's first write down the code and then we will see what are the ways we can make uh, use of private destructor. Now there is a class called say CLS and in that class I just create only one destructor and which is also a private destructor. Now let's see how this affects rest of the things. Now I am in main and erase rest of the code which is generated by Xcode for me and I try to simply create object let's say C equals to new CLS perfectly fine no error because I can very simply create an object because constructor is public it's not private but destructor is private but as soon as I go and try to delete my object here I will definitely get error and what it says is calling a private destructor of class CLS so I cannot call destructor of class CLS in the same way I can create value on heap here but I cannot create value on stack why because as soon as I create value on stack this is scope delimiters these opening and closing braces are scope delimiters as soon as I go out of this scope this C dies and when C dies it calls the destructor now destructor is private so it cannot be called from main so it gives me error again saying you are trying to call a private destructor now if I make it public it will definitely allow me to create that object on stack so we definitely see two benefits of uh, private destructor here one is if you want your object should not die your object should always reside in memory then you should create private destructor because no one can call delete on it in outside the class so that's the one reason you can create private destructor another reason is you are not allowed to create object on stack because if you try to create object on stack it will definitely calls the destructor as soon as it goes out of scope and it doesn't allow that so you must always try to create your object on heap because you can call new but you cannot call delete on it so even you use pointer it goes out of scope it will not get deleted that is why often you lead to memory leak because you do not call delete here but this is sometimes advantage also because you want this object to reside in memory so hope you got my point if you have any queries please post in comment box if you have any suggestions or any problem regarding video please post me that if you like video click on like button if you dislike it please click on dislike button if you want to see more videos from me please click on subscribe button that only encourages me to create more videos and your feedback is really important to me thank you very much